Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Manpreet. I'm your Law of Attraction coach and a Ho'oponopono healer. So today I invite you in my world of magic that works. Yes, you heard me right. Today we'll be talking about what is Law of Attraction and how it works. So Law of Attraction has worked wonders in my life. It has completely changed my life. What is Law of Attraction? What is the definition of Law of Attraction? It states that it is the science of attracting what we want by vibrating at the same exact frequency. I repeat, Law of Attraction is the science of attracting what we want by vibrating at the same exact frequency. I promise you, that by the end of this video, you will be able to come, you know, uh, come to know about the meaning of this definition yourself, because we are going to study that how law of attraction works. For that, we have to go back to our school days. Yes, today you will feel that as if you are sitting in your science physics class, class six or seven. So let's understand about these four laws of energy on which this law of attraction works. What is the first law of energy? Uh, let me ask you something before that, that who has made these laws? I had made these laws? You made these laws? No, these laws were made by the universe. So what is the law of energy number one? It states that everything in the universe is made up of energy. So this is the symbol of energy which we are going to use today. So everything in the universe is made up of energy. I am energy, you are energy, this pen, pen is energy, this paper is energy, the chair on which I'm sitting is energy. So everything in the universe is made up of energy. Remember, E is equal to MC square. Yes, Einstein said that everything in the universe is light and energy. You must be feeling that, the, I, yeah, 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 I remember this we have done in physics. But let me tell you something, that some of us has done some rata that time. But today we are understanding these laws of energy. We will repeat law number one. Everything in the universe is made up of energy. And what is the law of energy number two? It states that energy has frequency. So this is the symbol for energy and this is the symbol for frequency. Energy has frequency. So everything is vibrating at certain frequency and frequency creates forms. This pen looks the way it looks because of the frequency which is with, at which this pen is vibrating. I look the way I look. You look the way you look because I am vibrating at a certain frequency and you are vibrating at a certain frequency. So energy has frequency and frequency creates forms. So when our frequency changes, the form changes. So let me take this tumbler. This is a plastic tumbler. Uh, just imagine that I have fire on my left hand and if I keep this tumbler on fire, what will happen? That this tumbler will melt. But this tumbler will, this is like solid and it, it will become like some liquid. So because it has, it will be vibrating at a certain frequency and frequency creates form. So when this tumbler has the frequency of solid, it is looking like this. But when we kept it on fire, what changed? The frequency changed. And when frequencies change, it changed its form. So it became like a liquid from solid. So what is the second law of energy? That energy has frequency. Frequency creates forms. Okay. So coming to the third law of frequency, it says that energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. It just changes its form from one form to the other form. We will repeat this law that energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. 
it can only be transformed from one form to another form so as the word transform that it is it is the transition of the form so this is a, this solid tumbler but when we kept it on fire it became liquid so is the energy dead no it has just changed form as a law of thermodynamics says that uh, the total amount of energy in this universe is constant. It is just changing form from one form to another form. So you will be uh, thinking that how this is related to law of attraction. You will come to know about that. So coming to law number four, that energy vibrating at the same frequency creates attraction. You must have read somewhere or you must have heard about that like attracts light. Like. So what is that? That energy vibrating at the same frequency creates attraction. So just imagine that I have a radio in my hand. Okay. So now I have tuned this radio. You can do with uh, this action with me. You will understand it better. And I have tuned this radio at a frequency of 93.5 fm so when i have tuned this to that frequency what will happen it will attract the songs from the frequency of 101.1 fm yes no if i have tuned my radio to a frequency of 93.5 fm it will only attract the frequency of 93.5 fm now, where is this inner frequency? This frequency is all around us, but we attract only that frequency to which we are we have been tuned to or we have done the tuning to. So now I think you will understand this law better. So let me take one more example. So I have a phone. Just imagine this is my phone and I am dialing my mom's number. So I will be connected to my father's phone. Yeah? No. Because I have dialed to my mom's number which has a particular frequency. And my mother's number has been tuned to that frequency. So if I am dialing my mom's number, I will be only connected to my mom's phone. I will not be connected to my father's phone. So this explains that like attracts like energy vibrating at, at the same frequency makes the attraction happen so what happens sometimes if you dial a, num a number of some wrong person will you be connected to a positive person no and if you're dialing the number of some positive pious person will you be connected to the wrong person no because Every number has certain frequency. We will be connected to the same number about whose frequency we have been tuned to. Okay, so it's, uh, sometimes, you know, we change places. That uh, Let me give you this example that I have my phone and I'm just thinking that I want to talk to my friend but not, not in this house. I will go out and then I'll talk to my friend because then, you know, she'll be in different... Uh, she'll, talk to me differently. No, that will not happen. Even if you change places, if you have, you know, you have some particular frequency to which you have been tuned to, you will get attracted to the same frequency. The place does not matter. You know, the circumstances does not matter. What matters is the frequency. You know, sometimes we change jobs we think you know this office is not okay for me this boss is not okay let me change my job will that solve that your problem no because changing job will not prob will solve your problem what will solve your problem your yes now you're understanding everything you know sometimes uh, is um, People who are married, they are having some issues. They think, you know, keep my, this husband or wife is not okay because it is not about them. It is about my own frequency. So this is the law number four, that energy at the same frequency, this attraction, like attracts like. So we have to be very, very careful about our frequency. So let us now revise all these four laws of energy. Law number one, 
everything in the universe is made up of energy Ener law number two energy has frequency frequency creates forms number three energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed it can only be transformed from one form to another and law number four which is the most important like attracts like so now we understand that how law of attraction works now you will ask me that you know some people they, they are not using any law of attraction but uh, you know how is it working so let me tell you one thing like if we know about it or even if we don't know about it law of attraction is working 24 by 7 all the time even when you are sleeping so what is now we have talked a lot about our frequency so you must be wondering what is my frequency so your frequency my frequency is like we talk about this phone that phone had number we just dial our mother number and you know we get connected to her but uh, uh, we don't have any buttons on our body that I have four buttons in my on my hand I will just press them and then uh, I will raise my frequency no it doesn't happen like that so our frequency is made up of four buttons our four buttons are our feelings our thoughts our beliefs and our actions so when we change our feelings thoughts belief and action our frequency changes and everything happening around our all our you know health issues our relationship issues our career money things they are all happening good or bad according to our frequency because if I am vibrating at a positive frequency I will attract positive people I will attract positive situations but if I am vibrating at a lower frequency or negative frequency I will attract situations and people of negative energy so this is that important so if you want to know more about this your FTBA your feelings your thoughts your beliefs and actions and how they are taking care of your frequency how they are changing your frequency and how by using some very easy techniques of law of attraction you can change your frequency and you can achieve more in the areas of your health your career money or your relationships for this you have to come and join my free webinar the link to join that webinar you is in the comment box the link is to join my whatsapp group and on that whatsapp group you will get the link to join our free webinar so if you have if i've added little value into your life please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon because we have just started today we are going to do a lot in law of attraction and you know if you'll follow these techniques you will have major changes in your life you will be vibrating at a positive frequency and you'll be able to achieve more god bless you all have a good day thank you so much